Welcome to an experiment on speed paint reactivation. There has been a theory going around, I've now seen it in multiple places and I'm really not sure where this originated, but the theory is that if you mix some contrast medium with your speed paint, it will no longer reactivate. And so we are trying exactly that. I've heard a lot of folks mention this, uh, various online forums and things. I have not seen any real testing of it, and so I wanted to say, all right, let's go. Let's test it. And so here we are testing it. Specifically, we are testing one certain hypothesis. We're sort of doing a, well, suppose that that's correct, and I wanted to prevent my speed paint reactivation, just how much contrast medium do I have to add in order to do so? And so here we have this lovely white sheet. This is a sheet of polystyrene. It's um, basically it's the plastic card stuff that you can get at a hobby store. Folks will cut this up and use plastic glue to create all sorts of creative things. Or like me, we'll leave it in a flat sheet for fun experiments. The point here is it is very similar plastic to the models that we might be putting our speed paint on. Furthermore, I have primed this sheet with Army Painter's Matte White, and I did use it from the Army Painter spray can. But this does have a layer of primer on it. In fact, if you look at the back side, you'll notice I've conveniently marked this side for myself to say this side not primed. All right. So that side's not primed, this side is, and then I mixed up some speed paint. The ratio numbers here are it's always one drop of contrast medium, that's the number on the left, to some number of drops of speed paint, the number on the right. The goal here is, of course, to use less contrast medium per speed paint, with the eventual idea being I could take a fresh bottle of speed paint put some number of drops of contrast medium into it, and then thereby preventing reactivation for that bottle entirely. I might keep a bottle of uh, each speed paint in both the reactivating and non-reactivating formulas. Again, if this works. So here we go. I have Army Painter Matte White. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put some out on my palette, and we're going to paint it over the green. In a previous video, I had the green speed paint dried on my palette, and I tried putting some white paint over it, and it basically turned the white paint green. So what we want to see here is if I put the white paint over this, is it going to turn that white paint green? If it does, then the speed paint is clearly reactivating, which is not our goal, right? Our hope is that it does not reactivate. If it does reactivate, we can kind of see maybe how much, quantify this a little bit. The idea here is uh, the one-to-one, -one, if this works at all, the one-to-one -one should work or it had better work. I don't think I'm going to put more than, you know, a one-to-one -one of, of the contrast medium. You know, a two-to-one with two parts contrast medium to one part of the speed paint, that starts to get ridiculous and not feasible for preventing whole batches of it from reactivating. In fact, you could even argue that a one-to-one -one isn't great, but this is almost maybe kind of our control here a little bit of if this is going to work at all, then we know it's going to work here. All right, so let's go ahead and get some white paint on our brush. And I'm using a fairly big brush here, and I'm going to get a lot of white paint on there. And we're going to really kind of paint over, I'm going to paint over half I think of each of these um, each of these squares. Now, the white on the brush is still very white after applying it, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, as long as that's the case, I'm going to just re-dip and keep going. Already, I think we're seeing that this might be not the huge success that we were hoping. Maybe we've debunked this entirely, but we'll see what happens 
with the whole experiment before we get too excited. So the idea here is kind of this, we'll kind of talk through it as we're going through, is um, why would I want my speed paint to not reactivate? And the answer is I would want it to not reactivate if I was, for example, touching up an area that I didn't really mean to paint and I need to, um, I need to paint a different color over that area. And so that's what we're kind of looking at here. Probably didn't need so much paint on my palette. All right, so right away, let's kind of go back to the first one here. I have this as a one-to-one -one ratio, and it's one part speed paint again to one part contrast medium. If I have to add any more contrast medium, I'm going to be sad, but look at that. I'm already getting especially where it's the thinnest, the speed paint is reactivating and seeping into that. Do you see that? That's what I'm seeing here. Where I've put the paint on thicker, it's not coming through as fast, but if I can get the angles right and the focus right here, it is even starting to seep through uh, some of those areas. You can't see it as well on the camera because the white is, is really washing out in the bright studio lights. And I did even turn my studio lights down pretty significantly for this. Let me see if I can do one quick thing here. If I do that and I do that, a little bit of a different angle of the lighting there. Uh, you can't, you still can't see it real well and there's a little bit of a shadow there. But what I'm seeing is as this sits longer and longer, the areas um, of the even thicker white are seeping through. Now, of course, if this one's not working, then guess what else isn't working? The whole rest of them. So, you know, gone are our theories of maybe putting a couple of drops of contrast medium into it. So, uh, I've heard this uh, theory around a lot. Folks are saying uh, they've, they've got it to work. Uh, I'd love to hear uh, if you've gotten this to work, how you did it. As clearly I have not gotten it to work, even a one-to-one -one ratio has not prevented the reactivation of the paint really in any meaningful way. I could put a swatch of just you know pure speed paint on here and see what it does. We've already seen what that does on the uh, tile. And as I was saying, if it was going to work at all, it would work on this one-to-one -one layer. Something to be clear here, in case it's not clear on the camera, this is not thin and showing the color through. And you can rewind the video and watch as I put the white over. It's, you know, pretty solid white. And then it's it's seeping. It is reactivating and seeping in. I could also, uh, let me see if I got another brush here. I'll bring out this brush here and we'll just kind of see. Um, I could take some of this kind of reactivating paint and put it on here. I don't know if you can see that very well or not, but I picked up that white paint and I put it here and you can tell it's not white. It's got a little bit of that color tinge to it. And so the color is clearly seeping into the white paint. That is, the dried green speed paint is absolutely reactivating and mixing with the white. A couple other notes just for science, and if you have any questions about any of the process of this, I'd love to hear it, and if you have any ideas, or maybe I missed something in the process and I need to retry this experiment, uh, let me know your thoughts. But other notes on the process is uh, the speed paint has been dry for well over 24 hours. Uh, in fact, I've actually been putting this project off. This speed paint, these mixtures of the speed paint, have actually all been dry for over a week. So if, um, you know, one of the things you could say is, oh, it has, it's not dry. It is definitely dry. It is very, very dry. So do keep that in mind. It is over a proper primer. It is on a real plastic. This is what we're seeing with the speed paint. It does reactivate like this when you try to cover it over with um, the matte white paint. The other thing that I've heard has a theory is that it's water that's reactivating it. Matte White from the Army Painter is a water-based acrylic paint, so it does have some amount of water in it. And so you can't avoid that. 
However, I will also mention that I made sure that my brush was dry before doing the experiment as well. And so that's what part of another reason why I didn't rinse it out between the different uh, tests here is because I really just wanted to make sure that we weren't introducing any water into the situation other than that that's naturally in the paint. Uh, this bottle here, by the way, is just the contrast medium that I used to dose the drops so we could have accurate army painter size drops for both the drops so they were absolutely even. And with all of those controls, this is uh, the result. The result is I could not reproduce the removing of the reactivation of speed paint by adding the Citadel contrast medium in any reasonable quantity up to a 50-50 mixture. All right, again, if you have ideas of what to try next, I'd love to hear them. Otherwise, I think we're going to be living with reactivation. I haven't had a huge problem with it. It hasn't really affected my painting much. That said, I am about to dive into some squigs here where I need to paint those teeth. So we are going to be definitely uh, doing something with those teeth over that red for those squigs. And maybe I'll try the next reactivation preventer. Maybe some uh, oil-based paint or something like that, or some enamel or, or whatever. All right, well, if you want to see some of that, let me know. If you have ideas of what you want to see, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Take care. Let's get gaming.